Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd present you guys a tutorial video on the Odd Eyes 60 card build. Um, I know a couple of y'all have requested this, so I figured why not show you some general combos just to give you an idea of like how this deck functions and for those who really want to try this deck out, I definitely advise that you could, you should, you know, like it's a really good deck. Although just keep in mind, as I mentioned in the video, this deck is considered to be a glass can or glass cannon, I'm sorry, because um, the fact that Electromite is now at one, um, it is still susceptible to like hand traps like Ghost Ogre. But the reason I like to play 60 card is that it also avoids hand traps like Ash Blossom and all that stuff. So it's really good at filling up boards as long as you have the right hand and you just know the correct combos. So let's see what we open up here. I already shuffled the deck, so don't worry. All right, so we got a Chronograph, a Terraforming, a Spiral Flame Strike. Okay, oh, perfect. This is the one card that really turbos this deck really well. So Magical Abductor is definitely a great start. And Curtain Riser, great. So where do we start off from here? Well, when it, when it comes to this kind of opening hand, always start off with Magical Abductor. Make sure you play her first out of all your cards. So play Magical Abductor, set that on the Pendulum Scale. Just move this deck just slightly, that way we have room for, um, for the Pendulum Scales and all the other face downs. I'll move this to the side just slightly too. All right, so, because uh, the reason I say start off with her is because for each spell you activate, including the Pendulum Scales, you get to place one spell counter. And once she has three, you remove all three, and you can search out a pendulum card, pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. So let's start off with terraforming. All right. So that's so that's one spell counter, and we get to search out a field spell. Uh, we're gonna search out sky iris. I know I saw one here. Well, I know there's three of them. Here we go. So sky. So we start off with sky iris, and then you're free to activate sky iris. That way your pendulum skills cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects as long as they're odd eyes, magician, or um, performer pals. But anyway, activate Skyrus, that's uh, spell counter number two. Um, next one doesn't really matter. If anything, just start off with the Abyss Actor. That makes three spell counters. And then use Abyss Actor's effect to special as long as you control no monsters. And next we activate Magical Abductor's effect to... Uh, add a pendulum monster. Let's add a harmonizing magician. All right. Next up, we're gonna go and activate chronographs. Um, chronographs effect, set it on the pendulum scale. That's two, that's another uh, spell counter for magical abductor effect, pop itself. In order to um, place a time gazer magician either in the pendulum scale or special summon it. Then in this case, we're gonna go and special summon. That way we can get into some free link plays. Uh, let's see, where are you? I know I, it's in here somewhere. Here it is. So, special. Alright, you have to forgive me on this one. Alright, so now that that's done, now let's activate Spiral Flame Strike, which will search out a level 7 Odd Eyes. That's two spell counters again. So, this time we're going to search out Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, like so. Alright. And notice we haven't gone, we haven't used up a normal summon at all yet, and we've yet to um, link summon, but that's fine. We still got plenty of place to go with. Activate arc pendulum in your pendulum scale. That's three spell counters. Remove all three, and now we're gonna add a uh, pendulum monster. Let's go ahead and add mm, anything would do just fine. In this case, let me go ahead and add one copy of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. All right. Now we can go into our Link Summon place. We're not going to quite yet use up our Pendulum Summon yet. We still got we got time to do that, but we're not going to do it just yet. All right. So now we link away both Abyss Actor Razor and Time Gazer Magician to make Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Let's see. There it is. So you summon out your Electromite, and then use Electromite's effect to add a Pendulum Monster from our main deck to the top of our extra deck. And anything will do just fine. So, at this point, I would probably just go for. Let's see here. What do we have? Let's see. I'm trying to think of what I want to place. Again, at this point, anything will do just fine. You know what? Let's just go for an Odd Eyes uh, Phantom Dragon. Yeah, I think Phantom Dragon will do just fine. All right. Now we use Electromite's effect to pop the Magical Abductor, so we can. Add one pendulum monster from our extra deck back to our hand. 
and then we can draw one card and then we're going to chain using chronograph effect to special summon itself and we're going to go and special summon the odd eyes pendulum dragon so now we get to draw one card that's what we have okay dragon shrine's not a bad start so let's go and activate the dragon shrine in this case we're going to go ahead and pitch another copy of arc pendulum dragon together with a supreme king dark worm All right, so far so good. Uh, next up, we're gonna use Sky Iris' effect to pop the Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon. Let me just make sure as long as it's a face-up card. Uh, okay, third one. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna pop the uh, Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon so we can search out an Odd Ice. We're gonna add a Persona Dragon this time. And then Arc Pendulum Dragon's effect to special summon another copy of Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon. So, so far so good. All right, reset the skills one and eight, and then now we'll perform our pendulum summon. All right, just gotta move these a little bit because we need room for two cards here. All right, and that looks pretty good right there. All right, great. So we're gonna pendulum summon three monsters. Um, first, we're gonna summon from our extra deck, both another, our copy of Pendulum Dragon, the one we just popped, and Phantom Dragon. Place them here, and then or actually, no better yet, we're actually only going to Pendulum Summon one monster, because... Yeah, so we're just going to do the Phantom Dragon. Pendulum, I'm sorry, two monsters, one from the extra deck, one from hand, because I just miscounted. So, Special Summon the Phantom Dragon, and then Special Summon the Harmonizing Magician. We'll just put her in attack, because we're going to get rid of her in just a moment. Then use her effect to Special Summon the Purple Poison from our deck. But its effects are negated. Alright, so now we got a complete board. So, what next? Well... Now we got more than enough to um, link summon with. So we're gonna link away Electromite, Harmonizing Magician, Purple Poison, and Chronograph away. So these go to the extra deck, these go to this goes to the graveyard, and the monster we're gonna bring out is Saryuja Skulldred. Place it here. Okay, so now we got Skulldred. We use four monsters of different names, so now we can draw four cards, but have to send three to the bottom of the deck. Alright. I'm just going to go and keep the Duelist Alliance. The rest is going to go to the bottom of the deck. Doesn't matter which order as long as it's as long as they go to the bottom. Activate Duelist Alliance to search and add a card that has Pendulum in its name. Just go for the Pendulum switch here. All right. And then finally, we set the pendulum switch we just added to our hand, and then we can overlay both Phantom and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon in order to special summon Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Reason is being is because, like, we can simply detach one Xyz material to negate one attack and special summon an Odd Eyes from our graveyard. And by the, and we also got an target, so we got Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, or we can use one of its Xyz material. Alright, and with that, we're pretty much done. So, we end our turn, you know, our opponent sets up a board too, he decides to attack, and, like so, detach one Xyz material, and we can just special summon one Odd Eyes monster. So, we'll special summon back Phantom Dragon, actually we'll put it here, just, that'll do just fine. And then, let's say we activate the trap card, Pendulum Switch, which allows us to switch between one of our monsters from our Pendulum Zone and our main monster zones with each other. So we're gonna go and use that effect, sp swap out Phantom Dragon with with Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, and reason for Persona to be out is because not only is its defense just really good, and it gets a power boost from Saryuja, like any monster that gets summoned from its uh, from its link points, but once during either player's turn, it can negate uh, one monster that's special summon from the extra deck's effect, so that's actually pretty good. So our opponent decides to end his turn, and then we get to draw for our turn. On our standby phase, let's go ahead and swap out back our uh, Odd Eyes Phantom with our Persona, special, so we'll leave it at that, all right? Now we got a lot of moves to work with here. First off, let's go ahead and activate Sky Iris' effect. We're going to pop the Phantom Dragon so we can use, so we can search and add, excuse me one second, let's go and add Performa Pal Odd Ice Dissolver. I know I saw it in here just a second ago. Here it is. Odd Ice Dissolver. 
Next, activate uh, Otto's Arc Pendulum to Dragon's Effect, and then we're going to chain using Absolute Dragon's Effect. So, make sure um, this is a... Uh, let's see, chain one, chain two. So, yeah, make sure this is chain two. So this card's effect goes off, letting us special summon an Odd Ice. We're going to go and summon out Vortex Dragon. And then with Arc Pendulum Dragon's effect, we're going to special summon back the Absolute Dragon. Now, this is part, just part of my strategy, because my strategy is to summon um, monster, or to summon out other, either uh, Odd Ice Venom Dragon or Zark. So... Based on what I'm looking at, there's a chance I might be able to pull off Zark in just, just, in just a moment. So, what do we want to do next? Well, we can go ahead and use Zarya to Skuldred's effect. So, we're going to special summon Otis Dissolver, and then use its effect to fusion summon itself with Phantom Dragon in order to bring out Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. All right. Now, of course, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon's effect would go off if there's any monsters for us to target with. And that's pretty much it. But let's see here. What can we do next? Well, it's not really too much else we can do, but we still got a good start here. We could also normal summon uh, Magical Abductor if we wanted to. Or we can just go for an easy OTK at this point. And honestly, that's probably what I want to do, because we have a Negator. Uh, we still have this, so if this card leaves the field again, we get to bring out... Meteor Burst Dragon next, and then Special Summon back Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. But in this case, if this card left, we'd have to make sure that it's a uh, Chain 1. So Chain 1, Chain 2, and yeah, basically that. So, but yeah, that's just a general concept, you know, like you want to try to get out all these big boss monsters as quickly as you can. Uh, with Pendulum Switch, it does help out, you know, switch out like your weaker Pendulum monsters with some of your stronger ones as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys just to give you an idea like the general combos of what I like to do with this deck So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll post a link to my auto's deck profile and yeah, I'll catch you guys again next time